I prepare for going into families' homes while we're in the car. So I listen to a lot of music. I dance in the car a lot. I talk to friends on the, on the, on the phone in the car. It's our team. We, nobody gets what we do other than our team. And so sometimes I will, I will call people and be like, I'm on the way to X, Y, and Z. I'm, this is what I'm anticipating the day to look like. Like I just need a pep talk. And we have team members that are really good at doing that and kind of ramping each other up. Sometimes you have no idea that's what you're walking into. Sometimes you think you're going in for just a mundane, hey, how you doing visit, and you walk in and there's a, a crisis, whether it's emotional or medical. Um, and so those ones you just kind of, you click into gear and, and you go, and the ones that you're more prepared for, you sort of ground yourself and realize what you're doing is helpful even though it's hard. And then go in, I try to, whenever I walk into a home, I try to match the energy or see where my energy can fit in. So if everybody's really quiet and calm, I'm not going to go in there, hi, how's it going? You know, you sort of, again, meet them where they're at. And then when you come out, what, what does that look like? You come out of the house and you, is there, what have you learned <laughs> works for you for decompressing or processing or... When I come out of a house, it really depends on how the visit went. Um, if I feel like we accomplished what I was hoping we would accomplish, or if I helped in a way that I was hoping I would help, generally I feel good and I'm able to go into the next one. If it was harder, again, sometimes I reach out to team members, whether it's a social worker or someone who just knows the family really well, and just say I need to process this. And sometimes I don't have the words for it, and I just kind of sit on it and I'll process it a day or two later. Um, but very rarely have I had a situation where I feel like I can't go on to the next visit or I can't continue with the day. I think there have been a couple pronouncements on the hospice side that I'm like, I will be invaluable to these families if I continue my day. And our, most everybody we work with is understanding of that and allows us to kind of go home and do some self-care.